In this video, I want to talk about the three AI tools you need to be using to have a successful Faceless YouTube channel and why you need them in order to succeed. The first tool I want to talk about is NVIDIA AI. This is absolutely hand down my most favorite tool for faceless content creation because it can create entire videos for you from one single prompt with all the aspects needed for it to be an actually good faceless video making it super beginner friendly so you don't need any experience to know how to do this and even for the most seasoned of editors it can be a really good help in being more efficient in your content creation now in order to get to in video you can use the link in the description below and then it's going to take you to this page now once on this page you can go ahead and just add in a prompt and hit generate to generate your video if you want to know very specific about how you can do that you can also check out this video i made about it but what i didn't mention in that video is how you can do it in this way rather than creating your own detailed prompt you can simply select a workflow let me show you what i mean you click over here where it says select workflow and as you can see there's four different types of workflows you can select in order to create your video so the first one would be youtube shots and then from here you can simply fill in this information and then it would be able to generate you a shot so do you follow what i'm showing you here by selecting these workflows it already has most of the prompts written for you all you have to do is fill in some of these attributes and customize it to fit what you want so this one is also for youtube explainer this one is for recent events video and this one is for script to video. Now this is perfect for those of you who have your own script in your head so you don't need AI to generate it for you. Then you can come ahead and insert your script in this section right here. This way it's your own words in the video but you'll have AI do the editing and the creation for you. It saves you time because you don't have to create the video. All you have to do is insert your scripts. So you could choose whichever workflow you think would work best for you. So this makes it super simple because now you don't even need to know how to generate a prompt. You really just need to fill in some blanks. And let me show you how this works. You would simply click select workflow. And for example, let's say we want to create a YouTube explainer. So we're going to go ahead and click YouTube explainer. And then the first thing we would need to do is say how long we would want our video to be. So for the sake of the example, I'm just going to say about one minute. And now over here, I need to say what I want my video to be about or to not be about just specify what you want to be spoken about in your video and what you maybe want to be left out of your video so i said i want a video talking about why fall is the best season of the year now this next section is optional but you can go ahead even more details more creative details that is for how you want your video to be so i said use humorous analogies and refer to the season like a person make the video with a serious tone but very sarcastic and silly so just like this i'm not just having ai just generated for me i'm in a way creating my own type of video because i'm having my own personal touch done to it so this is what i need you guys to understand by using ai it doesn't mean that it lacks human touch at all the next thing you'd want to do is say what type of background music you want so in my case i would want happy background music and then down here you want to talk about the settings for the voiceover so i would say i would want a male voiceover and then i can go ahead and search through all the different type of voices and as you can see there's lots to choose from californian accent a new yorker accent indian accents even australian voice so i'm going to go ahead and select an australian voice let's see how that sounds and then from here you can just go ahead to click continue and then once you've done that as you can see it's generated a prompt for you so you don't have to know how to generate the prompts yourself they've made it super easy for us guys once you've done that all you need to do now is click where it says generate a video and then after that it's going to take you to this section where you need to specify exactly who you're creating the video for so in my case i'll say humor enthusiasts and then i'm going to say minimal and then the platform is YouTube and hit continue. And now in video AI will begin generating the entire video for me, which means generating the script, the background music, the voiceover, the stock footage, and putting it all together for me. So I had to do no work for this rather than fill in a couple lines to generate a prompt to now generate an entire video for me. It's that simple. And just like that, within a few seconds, it has generated me my entire video. So let's take a look at what it looks like. Good day, mates. Fall, or autumn if you're fancy, is undeniably the best season of the year. It's like that reliable friend who always brings the best snacks to your backyard barbecue. When Mother Nature decides to put on her most stunning fashion show, it's fall, 
who's the star on the runway. Those leaves, they're not just dying, they're doing it with style. And who else can turn decay into an art form? <laughs> Those leaves are dying with style. You see, it's making it silly and humorous. The voice, when I said I wanted a quite serious voice, it, it's definitely like, do you hear the seriousness of this voice? It's kind of ironic because it's like, <laughs> the voice is so serious. The music is so happy. It did exactly what I wanted. But if you're not satisfied with what it gave you, then it's not the end of the world. You're not stuck with this. You can edit it in multiple ways. Now, if you don't want to go through the process of editing this manually, then the best thing about this, which is my absolute favorite, is that you can edit the video by using using prompts and this alone saves you so much time because now you don't have to manually go do it you just tell it what to do and then it edits it for you so for example taking a look at our video we don't really have any subtitles i don't have to manually go do this i can just ask it to do it for me just by saying this add in subtitles on the full video and then hit generate day mates fall or autumn if you're fancy and now if we keep scrolling through, as you can see, it's added in subtitles for the entire video. I didn't have to manually do this. I just had to ask it to do it. It's that simple. And that's not the only editing you can do from this section. You can ask it more things like shown below, delete a specific scene, cut out a specific portion of a scene, change the current stock photo to something else. The same way you would edit it manually, you can ask it to do those things for you by using simple commands. In order to edit it, you'd want to click here where it says edit, and then you can choose to edit the media by simply clicking where it says edit media, and then you can scroll through and then select which media you may want to change, click onto it, and then over here you can upload your own file to replace it with, or you can simply search for something else and then have it be replaced into your scenery. It's that simple. Or if you want to edit the script, then you can click where it says edit script, and then you simply need to just click on what you want to edit, delete it, write in your new text. It's up to you. Editing it is super easy. Or if you want to add something brand new, you click onto this tiny thing to add a whole new section. And then you can just write in what you want. Editing the script is very simple. And once you've done editing it, all you need to do is click where it says apply changes. And then your changes will be made to the video. And then once you're done and you're satisfied with your video, all you need to do is go to where it says export, click export video, 1080p is good enough, and then hit continue. Then it's going to begin rendering and downloading your video for you. And it was that simple. And when it comes to the pricing of this tool, you can try it out for free, but I do recommend you get the plus version if you're serious about starting a channel. It provides you with lots more room to be able to generate content and at an affordable price of $25 for your full-blown AI generator, editor, and everything you need is worth it to me. The second tool you absolutely need to be using is vidIQ. And this tool is the secret weapon to what's going to help you rank your videos in such a way that you leave your competition way behind. This is the very tool I use to grow my channel. Now, when it comes to vidIQ, it has so many features that if you're even serious about YouTube, this is just something you need to have. It has tools like daily ideas, which gives you daily ideas for the types of videos you can post on your channel. But most importantly, it shows you the view prediction for if you do post these videos. And this would really help you post videos that has the most potential for more views, which will help your channel grow. Another great feature it has is its AI generator. Another one of my favorites is its keyword section, which tells you the top keyword opportunities on YouTube by showing you the search volume and the overall percentage. So that takes into consideration if it has high competition or low competition. So this can help you with coming up with video ideas that you can really stand out for and get views for. It tells you the top search terms for your channel and it even tells you about the rising keywords so you can know what keywords are rising up on YouTube so you can maybe even try targeting this for your next video to help you stand out. It tells you information about your competitors and it also gives you very detailed information about your subscribers, telling you what's the top videos that your own subscribers watch, what other channels that they're subscribing to and the best times to post. But most importantly, it has this AI coach. Now, I'm not going to say too much about this. Think ChatGPT, but if it was built for YouTube. Now, if you're using the basic version, then this gives you more general information. But if you use the advanced version, this is like ChatGPT if it was made specifically for your own channel. So this uses your channel's data 
to answer the questions you have so you can ask it like how do i get more views based on my channel what video ideas you have so it's telling you specifically what you can post based upon the things you've been posting how your audience has been interacting with it trust me this is the tool you need to have in your tool list i use vidiq every single time i post a video without fail which is what helps my channels grow in fact i will show you how i used it to upload the video i uploaded last week as you can see by using it i'm able to get ai recommendations for different titles i could use based upon the title i have and it tells me what it thinks would perform best i can refresh the ideas if i don't like it and it will give me way more title ideas that i could use in my very own video also i can use it when it comes to generating a description for my video by simply telling it what i want my description to be about and as you can see it gives me a full description for my video i don't even have to think about it too much it also is able to generate me ai thumbnails if i didn't already made one and the absolute gold mine this does for you is helping with tags as you can see i use it for every single tag and by using it it allows me to use the right tags on my videos because i know the ones which has the highest score which will be the ones i use on my video to help them rank better in search so this is what separates your videos from getting zero views to get in one views, to get in a 100 to a thousand of views. Now, when it comes to the pricing of VidIQ, it's actually pretty much affordable. You can get started for free with the basic package, but just know that it is very limited in what you get, or you could even try the pro. But what I recommend and what I personally use is the boost package. As you can see, it gives you access to practically everything you need in order to really succeed. So maybe get started out for free, but if you're ready to really grow your channel, invest in the boost package. But you don't have to pay the $39 because to make it even better, if you use the link in my description, instead of paying $39, you could only have to pay $1 and you get access to boost so that you can really boost your videos. See what I did there? But choose whichever pricing works best for you. Now, the third tool that you absolutely need to be using is called Canva. Canva will be the tool that will help you really elevate the visuals of your channel. This tool will help you separate from having a channel that just does not look put together to having a channel that actually seems like you really know what you're doing. You're going to be using Canva to design the look and feel of your YouTube channel and Canva makes it very easy to do so. The first thing you need to design when designing your channel would be the look of your channel and by that I mean your channel's banner and your channel's logo. And in order to design those aspects, all you'd have to do is come onto Canva's homepage. And then once on the homepage, where it says search, you want to search for what you want and hit enter. So the first thing would be a YouTube banner. From here, there's over 5,000 templates you could choose from. And you can simply choose any of these templates and then use it for your own banner. Or you can create one from scratch. In order to get your channel's profile picture, you would do the same exact thing. Come into this text box and search for YouTube profile picture. And again, over here, there's multiple templates you can use or you can create yours from scratch. Designing your channel is actually the easiest part. As you can see, don't make it too complicated. Another great thing you can do on Canva is design your own visuals for your video. So for example, there's lots of videos where people get the camera icon into that. You would simply go over to where it says elements and then search for what you want, camera overlay, and then click where it says see all. And as you can see, there's many different options it gave us. But for example, let's just say we wanted this one. We would just click onto it, adjust it, simple as this, and then click onto the back layer, click where it says background color, and hit green. And now you've created your own green screen layer that you could use in your own video. And it kind of looks like this. Yeah, it's very simple. And that's just the surface of the type of visuals you can design on Canva. And last but most importantly is the thumbnails. This is what make or breaks your video. I personally design all my thumbnails on Canva. From my very first thumbnail, which is this one, even to my most recent thumbnail, it's all been designed right here on Canva. You'd come onto this section and then simply search for YouTube thumbnail and hit enter. And then there's over 18,000 templates that you can choose from. And as a beginner, you don't need to know these skills. It's simply drag and drop. So for example, if I wanted to click onto this one and hit customize this template, once in this case, it's as simple as replacing the elements. So I would go ahead and delete him and then I would upload an image of myself into this so that I could add it into the scene. And then once I've gotten an image of myself, all I need to do is hit where it says edit photo and then click background remover. And now as you can see, my background has been removed 
and now I'm in this thumbnail. And just like that, it now looks more attractive than if I had used no thumbnail at all. And then you can continue editing it to make the thumbnail your own. But it's just that simple. You just click on the thumbnail you want and customize it to fit your video idea. Or if you don't like any of these, then you can create one from scratch. It has everything for you. So when it comes to the visuals of your channel, don't worry about trying to use Photoshop or any of these ones that may be too difficult for beginners. Canva is all you need. Now, when it comes to the pricing of Canva, you can use it for completely free as a beginner and it's great to get started with. But at some point, I recommend you invest in the pro option as you really get access to all the features of Canva that will really allow you to create the best visuals for your channel. So you can go ahead and find a link for Canva in the description of this video. And wait, for those of you who made it this far into the video, I wanted to show you this bonus tool which I use for absolutely every single video I upload and that is Thumbs Up TV. Now, Thumbs Up TV is just a simple website. It will allow you to see like what your thumbnail and title will look like when you upload it to YouTube so you can see how clickable it actually is. And in order to do it, it's quite simple. You just need to upload your thumbnail picture here and then insert your title. And then once you've added it in, all you need to do is scroll down and now you'll be able to see what it looks like. And then you can keep editing it from there until you feel like it's the most clickable state. And you can also toggle it in dark mode since lots of people have their devices set to that. So this is a tool I recommend you absolutely use before you upload any single video. I'm certain that by using these tools, you'd get way better results than if you don't use them. Whether you use all of these tools or just one of them, you'll need them in order to help build a more successful faceless channel. And if you want to learn more from me, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.